Hello, this will be a video regarding the social and ethical issue of standards and protocols, presented as part of the syllables of the IB Diploma Subject Information Technology in a Global Society. Standards and Protocols is concerned with all the rules that enable compatibility between different information technology systems. This not only includes software specifications, such as the cryptographic protocols that govern internet security and web transactions, but also the conventions regarding the hardware components of technology, such as computer ports. As such, standards and protocols can be an underlying issue in almost every scenario presented in ITGS. Nevertheless, there are still some obvious categories that are worth mentioning. Network protocols govern both hardware and software. These include the physical arrangement of the network, such as the straight bus and the star network topologies, the type of cable used, and the speed in megabits per second in which data is transferred. Protocols are also present in the Internet. These perform tasks such as converting host names into computer-readable IP addresses, managing data packets across routers, and allowing computers to request the resources from the network. The programming languages used in computers are also subjected to standardization. These specify the type of data the program is to process, as well as the output data it is meant to produce. The International Organization for Standardization is in charge for producing international protocols and has redacted over 19,000 conventions. Some of their standards concerning IT govern microprocessors, storage devices, ergonomics, and office equipment. Standards and protocols often goes hand in hand with other social and ethical issues such as reliability and integrity, security, intellectual property, authenticity, and policies. A connection between standards and protocols and reliability is found in database management systems. Protocols control the log records meant to document all the modifications carried out to the database. There are also redo and undo protocols that can be implemented if failure occurs while altering the database. This could be an example of a news article that focuses on authenticity, security, and standards and protocols, as it concerns itself with stopping identity theft while at the same time with introducing a relatively new initiative, like the OpenID website. This platform requires a single password to sign in, but enables the user to access other websites powered by OpenID. We could ask ourselves, for example, what are the cryptographic protocols that protect the password information? What protocols will be used by the OpenID software to cooperate with international hosts? This other article can also be linked with standards and protocols. This text is about connecting devices that monitor a patient's traits, such as heart rate or body mass index, to apps that can be surveyed by medical professionals. This would allow patients to be kept track of in real time. While there are other issues, such as reliability and integrity as well as surveillance, standards and protocols is also valid. What are the International Organization for Standardization's protocols to communicate with electronic records? What are the audio and video requirements necessary for the device to interact with the network in real time? As a final comment, remember news articles that introduce new technologies, or that introduce already existing technologies to areas or fields in which these were previously not used, are good opportunities to mention standards and protocols. Also, standards and protocols is usually present in articles containing IT systems that span over international borders. This is the end of this video. Have a good one.